Hi guys, it's me and today I want to bring you my edition of spring lippies. Now, spring is this type of season where you can get away with wearing almost nothing on your face because everything is glowing, everything is great, everything is so pretty around you, you don't need to put tons of makeup on your face to look gorgeous. Well, you usually don't, but when everything is grey and cold outside, you kind of feel you need to insert a little bit of pop color. So during the spring you don't, um, however, I am a lip junkie and I love lip products and I've been getting several questions from you guys asking me which are good shades for this time of year and I've gathered up um, a little bit of a collection, I've gathered 9 shades. Now it sounds excessive but you don't have to buy all of them, you don't have to buy any of them actually. I created 3 categories, now the first one are oranges and orangey like shades. The second one are pinks and the third one are mauves. And mauve is a weird choice for spring, it might sound as a weird choice because we usually go for pastel colors, but I think that especially during the springtime, a good mauve color combined with flawless skin using very um, light hand with every product you use can look amazing and can really add up to your glowy to your glowy look. So let's get started. Um, I try to use uh, products from different um, ranges of price so everyone can find something that suits them. Um, I will start with the more uh, orangey toned ones and I really like orange um, for summer, but during the spring I like to share them out. So every shade I will show you now, I usually apply it and pat it out to create just a little hint of color. The first one is a drugstore uh, product, it's Revlon um, butter, lip butter. Um, this is in 015 Tutti Frutti and it's a really nice orangey shade. Um, I really like this color. Uh, I don't wear it as often as I should because I don't always always feel that it looks good on my skin tone but when I have a little bit more tan it looks gorgeous. Um, the next one is a higher end one. It's Rouge in Love by Lancome and this is in the shade 322M. That's a weird shade. And this is somewhere in between um, corally and pink. Um, it's a great color. I bought it last spring and I thought I would use it up during summer, but actually I'm using it up now, so yay. Um, the next one is kind of weird because it's not really um, an orangey shade, it's a nude, but I think a nude lip is a necessity in all seasons, so I picked to show you Max Hue, and it does have a little bit of peachiness in it, but it really is just a nude. Pinks. Uh, you know I love my pinks, and the first one, as I said um, in the previous one, is a Revlon lip butter as well. Um, I This particular shade, um, which is 080 Strawberry Shortcake, it's a really nice pink that gives up a little bit more color than the cotton candy one. Uh, the only rant I have about this shade, besides I wish it could be a little bit more of a pop of color, that it's very, very um, soft and it breaks really easily, so be careful about that. The next one is kind of in the mid range of price and this is Max Chatterbox, which is lovely and amazing and I thank Tanya Burr for introducing it to me. I really love this shade. And the final one, one of my most favorite pinks in the whole world is the YSL Glossy Stain in the shade 17 and it's just an amazing fuchsia and you can actually build this color up. So if you don't want any kind of pop of color, you can just um, put just a little uh, layer of it on your lips, blend it out and it will look amazing. If you want more of a bold lip, just apply two or three coats of that and you're ready to go. And the final category are more of a mauve and berry shades and I do like wearing them during the spring. If you're not that type of person that's just fine, just pick from the other ones. Um, the first one is uh, L'Oreal Rouge Caress in uh, 102 Mauve Cherie 
and you know already that I love this shade because I have been using it for a long long time and it's stayed in my favorites through the whole thing. The next one is a Rimmel product um, and this is in 006 Pink Blush. It's in the Lasting Finish Lipstick um, series and it's a gorgeous, 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 it looks like a pink but on your lips it's almost a mauve, mauve pink. So I like that. And the final one is a really expensive one. I've had it for a long, long time and it's kind of my... It's kind of the product that I take with me when I want to feel more luxurious and more pampered, um, obviously because it's a Chanel lipstick. And this is the Rouge Coco in the shade 10 Camellia. And this shade, I can't even describe it. It's a mauve, pinky, dusty rose color. Um, it just looks amazing and it looks different on every person. So. If you want to splurge and you're thinking which lipstick should I buy, I would definitely recommend this. I even would recommend this over the YSL Linen Glossy Stain. So you know now how much I like it. Um, so yeah, this is everything I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me about your favorite lip products in the down bar below. And please, please like this video if you like this type of video, of course. And go over to my blog to see more awesomeness. Bye!